guys here we are for the hot sunny italian grand prix the grid nice and mixed up and i think we are in for a very hard fought grand prix and hopefully a very hotly contested uh, fight for victory between four people who are very talented for staff and ricardo norris and hamilton and hopefully we get to see a proper fight for victory something we didn't of course get at zandvoort as ricardo still waiting at the front of the grid as now valtteri bottas lines up and the green flag now waves and the lights are now on. It's three lights, it's four, it's five here at Monza. Lights out and away we go straight away. Max Verstappen has got a uh, not so great start as Daniel Ricciardo down the inside. And Ricciardo is into the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. Verstappen held to the outside. And yes, Ricciardo leads at Monza. Hamilton has passed Norris. The third great start for Hamilton on the harder compound there, but Ricardo not just in the lead, he is clearly in the lead of this Grand Prix. There's a lot of slipstreaming going up, and Hamilton going to try and go round the outside of Verstappen into the second chicane. Oh, and Hamilton has to skip across the chicane, and Verstappen goes back through, and so does Lando Norris, and big crash. The, the Ferrari of Sainz and Giovinazzi, and Giovinazzi, I believe, is out of the race by the looks of it. As Ricardo, yeah, Ricardo is in the lead. Norris is in a green flag. So I think Giovinazzi has got going again. So Ricardo in the lead, Verstappen second, Norris third, Hamilton fourth, Leclerc fifth, Sainz is sixth, Sergio Perez is seventh. A virtual safety car is out on the track. As we've got a bit of a train behind Latifi, but to be honest, I don't think Latifi is going to be really with this lot anymore. I think he'll probably, as uh, Perez round the outside of Carlos Sainz. And Perez, he should get the move done, but Sainz moves back ahead around the outside. But as long as Perez gets back in the slipstream, should have the pace here, the straight line speed to get ahead of Carlos Sainz. Perez round the outside. And yes, he does. Sergio Perez is up into... And now defensive position against Bottas has passed Vettel down the order. And Perez brilliantly up to sixth. Great move by Sergio Perez. And now he has about four or five seconds to get after Charles Leclerc for fifth place. And then if he can do that, then maybe get into the race at the front four. I think Mercedes, like I said, I think they're in a very good position here. And I think as the race goes on, as long as Max Verstappen is not in the lead, I think Lewis Hamilton is in a brilliant position as Hamilton closing up to Norris a lot out of Parabolic. And I think Lewis Hamilton absolutely going to go for a move here on Lando Norris. Norris will have to defend to the inside. He does. Hamilton will go to the outside. Norris, though, holds the inside slash middle line. Now Hamilton will try to switch back through the exit. And he should get a good run on the exit of the first chicane up to the second. As Norris, he's trying to hold that left-hand side line. The McLaren, though, pulling away again in the... in, in the uh, Now Hamilton's not in the slipstream. And Norris keeps ahead. So, even better news for Lewis Hamilton. As McLaren, here at the end of lap 22, are getting ready for a pit stop. And is it Daniel Ricciardo? Yes, it is. Daniel Ricciardo in for a pit stop. And Red Bull, I think, have, have done a dummy pit stop there to force Red Bull in. So Verstappen now into the lead from Norris in second. And, yeah, so Red Bull did a dummy there. Good stop, though, for Ricardo, But has a bit of traffic ahead of Carlos Sainz. As Ricardo, according to the uh aws ricardo given his current lap times will still be ahead of verstappen when verstappen finishes this pit stop as max comes in now on lap 24 and puts on the hard tires slow pit stop very slow pit stop very very slow pit stop even slower oh no and is the pit stop done yes it is and that is a massive Massive moment in this Grand Prix. An 11.1 second pit stop. And Verstappen, he's behind Bottas now. And he's down, I think, to 10th place. As Lewis Hamilton has passed Lando Norris on track. Lewis Hamilton, 
There you go. Exit of the second chicane. Lewis Hamilton, just as Verstappen has an issue, Hamilton then goes and strikes, and Lewis Hamilton is in a phenomenal position on great tyres, and Lewis Hamilton surely now will feel as though this race is in his hands now. Let me just update that. Lewis Hamilton now comes into the pits. I need to update the uh, lap count. Let me just do that. Sorry that we've skipped lap 25, but it's now lap 26. And, oh, the pit stop was not that quick. It was 4.2 seconds. So Daniel Ricciardo will keep the lead, but Lewis Hamilton will be on a softer compound to go to the end. Let's see where Lewis Hamilton comes out in regards to Lando Norris as Max Verstappen does the fastest lap. And there is Norris, and Norris is ahead. And Max Verstappen now, he's going to go round the outside into the first chicane. And Verstappen round the outside. And, oh, contact with Hamilton. They're both in the gravel. Hamilton and Verstappen, they're both in the gravel. Verstappen is parked on the front wing of Lewis Hamilton's car. And they are surely both out of the Grand Prix. Mental, a safety car has come out. Yeah, they are surely both out. Watch that tomorrow. But anyway, we've still got 22 more laps of the Italian Grand Prix. And Daniel Ricciardo now gets them going again. As Charles Leclerc is in second for the Tafosi. Can he take a second victory here? I don't think he will because Lando Norris is right in the slipstream. Bottas, I think, is already passing science. And Norris is up to second. And McLaren... Is he up to second? No, not quite. And Leclerc holds around the outside just about. Bottas, though, uh, is up into fifth place. I think it was a person jumping across the chicane there. And Sainz is actually up to fifth. And Norris on the grass and almost making a contact there with Leclerc. That was very scary indeed. And Norris is up to second. And Carlos Sainz has actually stayed ahead of Bottas there. And Valtteri Bottas is up to fifth as Perez, by the way, is all over the back of Charles Leclerc. As Alonso, very nearly overtaken by Rosso. Actually, no, uh, that was Ocon passing Latifi. As Perez, round the outside of the second chicane, jumps across the chicane. He'll have to give that back. He's not going to. Or oh, not going to. I think he might have to, though, as Valtteri Bottas... Now lap 33 is about to pass Charles Leclerc down the inside and Bottas making light work of this lotter, is he? Leclerc on the outside, but Leclerc goes across the escape road and Leclerc cannot hold it and he'll have to give that back. But Perez, I think, really has got away with it a bit in this Grand Prix. As Leclerc gets right back into the slipstream, he'll now try to go right around the outside and he does. Charles Leclerc right back past him. Of course, with the season he's had, he'll be desperate to win. But McLaren will be desperate not for anything to happen in terms of an incident. Because a 1-2 at Monza, they've not had this for a while. And they won't want any accidents. As Bottas now around the outside of Charles Leclerc into turn one. And Bottas gets it done. Valtteri Bottas is up to fourth. And he should now pull away. Because Leclerc, I don't think, has the power to respond yeah fifth and sixth would be pretty good but compared to their main rivals not quite good enough as Bottas is close to Perez but can he just get enough grip and not be affected too much on the dirty air and yeah Bottas is quite close now onto the pit straight and uh, Bottas right behind Sergio Perez now down to turn one, Bottas is going to go out, have to try and go around the outside. He's not going to, though. He'll try a switch back, though. And he should get, because he is on softer tyres, he should get a brilliant run now up to the second chicane. And Bottas now round the outside. Needs to get this move done if he's going to win the race. Perez will try and hold the inside line. Bottas... Gets it done, or does he? Because Perez comes back on the inside. And Sergio Perez back to third. And Bottas just did not get any traction out of turn uh, five there. The chicane, the exit of the second chicane. And Bottas now must wait. As Ricardo now comes into the second chicane. And Ricardo 
had quite an up and down time since he left Red Bull and really left a team that could fight for victory. His last win, Monaco 2018, a brilliant drive, very, very good drive, but considering he lost a lot of power from his uh, Renault power unit at the time. And since then, it's been pretty tough for him. He has had brilliant, uh, some absolutely brilliant drives for Renault, of course, finishing on the podiums uh, in Imola and also at the Nürburgring. He's had plenty of those. But this will taste even sweeter than those great results from last year. And of course, it will be his first podium for McLaren. But not just his first podium, his first win for McLaren as he wins Daniel Ricciardo, the Italian Grand Prix of 2021. And it is McLaren's first win in nine years, their first 1-2 in 11 years. And Daniel Ricciardo finishes in 11th and he gets the fastest lap point at the end with a 124.8. So Daniel Ricciardo taking home that extra point, brilliant by him. And the McLaren team, what a weekend for them. And it is great to see McLaren back. And trust me, they are now back. There is no doubt about it. McLaren are finally back in Formula One. And hopefully they won't be going anywhere anytime soon. So with Perez's penalty, Daniel Ricciardo wins. Lando Norris second, Bottas third, great drive for Bottas, could, still probably could have been better, but yeah, Bottas third, Charles Leclerc P4, by the way, gotta just say, massive credit to Zach Brown for the work he's done at McLaren, massive credit, without him, don't know where McLaren would be today, honestly, given the work he has done, um, yeah, Bottas third, Leclerc fourth, Perez fifth, and then Carlos Sainz in P6, Lance Stroll in P7, Alonso 8th, Russell 9th, great points finished there for Williams. We're getting used to it now. They've had three in the last uh, four races, have Williams, of course. And then Esteban Ocon in P10. And then Latifi just missing out on a point in 11th place. Vettel 12th, Giovinazzi 13th, Kubica 14th, Schumacher 15th, and your retirements, Mazepin. And then most importantly for the championship, in a big collision, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. And Verstappen still leading by five points going into Russia. And then your other two retirements, Gasly and Sonoda. One Italian Grand Prix. Another surprise result just like a year ago. A great Grand Prix and a fantastic result. And without a doubt, like I said, McLaren are back.